Okay, everybody. I love this time of year because videos come more often. Why? Because the plants are growing, more things are happening. So today I'm going to show you how I set up or how we're going to set up this year for getting ready for this guy right here. He's the one. There he is. He's at his distance, 17, 18 foot out here. Get you a little look, he looks nice. Good looking so far, hopefully he opens up and the flower inside, everything looks good. So we're gonna set up for him today. This guy, however, if you watched the previous video, he was pollinated, I think June 3rd, and he took, it's getting bigger by the day. This is difficult, especially in Kansas, because right now we're 100 degrees. So there is no guarantee that that guy's pollination will take. It's, when you get one in Kansas, whether he's at 13 feet or at 18, 19 feet like that guy, you might have to go with a 13 footer. We'll see if that one is the one, but right now we're hoping that this is the one. So it's time to set up. So what are we going to need? Well, if you watched the videos last year, I just set up, put some stuff underneath of him at the end of the year. We've raised it up with a railroad tie system that would set it down and then we set it down and my buddy brought over what was called a dirt blanket. So instead of having to raise it up at the end of the year, we're going to grow our pumpkins on the dirt blanket. So that way when we get ready to move this guy, all we have to do is hook up to his straps and then pull him out. And then once we're outside, it's simple. Because you can just put a tripod up, you can get a tractor, you can get a whatever, and raise it up and just put it on there. But getting him to the outside is always a trick. If you watch any of my videos, well, you'll know that yeah, it's hard. So. Step one, get our dirt blanket. And get you guys a few of those or some bamboo sticks. And then I will show you what it looks like here in step two. All right, so now we're on to step one, finishing it up. As you can see, got the dirt blanket laid out. So a couple of things to note, it's a 10 by 10 blanket. Bumping gun ain't gonna be that big. We hope it does, but let's be real, it's not gonna get that big. Um, so what I did was I took the blanket on this side and folded it all the way out and then I tucked this end under So I just have it tucked underneath it there and then I leave the other end exposed because I'm going to jerk it out that way So that end is exposed over there. I got my straps this end I just folded it over the top because there is a possibility that the pumpkin will be I mean when I get it set up well, you'll see but I want it right in the middle so right here so then it'll grow every direction. It'll grow this way, this way, come back to us, and it'll grow that way. So as it grows this way here, I'll be able to just move this out and let it get bigger as it needs to be. My straps, I have those three on that end. That's where it's gonna be pulling from. We're not lifting it up with the dirt blanket. We're just pulling it so I can pull it straight out. The strap here I left because I, I'll show you how I set it up on the dirt blanket because this will not water won't penetrate this so you don't want the pumpkin growing directly on this but i will show you how i have that set up later that'll be a video to come later but my strap is right here that guy i can move it out of the way jerk it move it straight if i need to these straps back here i'll leave them exposed because I, once again i can jerk it if i need to just straighten it up and it's not straight it's angled because I need to angle it out that door right here. So there we go. Now on to getting this guy set up. So what we're going to do now on the next step, the vine comes here and I don't want to move it as the pumpkin's on there because this is a single man job. I don't have anybody here with me right now. Kate's gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it something right here, a, a coat hanger. Like I said, you can use a bamboo stick and start curving the vine. So I want the vine to come like this, and then I want it to curve around, come here, curve out here, pumpkin land somewhere over here, and then curve back and then go back straight. So it's gonna be a big S curve, coming this way, S and out here, coming back that way, okay? 
Okay, so I'll show you how the initial setup of this takes place. Okay, now there's the setup. I actually had to pull I'm back here. Let me get back to where I was so you can kind of see the difference. So I had to pull the tarp this way because where the pumpkin was landing, I wanted to land on my tarp. Tarp's blue, it'll take in heat. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put down a little bit of sand. No big deal. Put some sand there just to kind of keep the heat off of that. I'll monitor it throughout the next few days because, like I said, it's 100 degrees out. I have fans. I have two swamp coolers. We've got fans running through here. We got misting. There's a lot to cool it off, but still, this could get hot. So I'm going to monitor that and I want to make sure that my little baby doesn't get hot. I want it to keep it cool. Okay? But, anyways, now what I do is I go two leaf nodes back. So here's the first leaf node on this side. So it's actually three but you got one on that side you got one on this side you got another one on that side so two back on that side that one and that one and I put a stake right there I move this vine as you can see it's coming here well I move it I curve it this way to get it going this direction and then this vine I curve back this way back towards me and then there's your other stake it's sitting right there I'll keep moving this in I'll keep staking it closer and closer a little bit each day so I want a real real good one so this one I'll keep moving this way he'll move back over here more it'll be close to my board walking board then I'll then it'll come back and it'll co keep coming this way so that way when the pumpkin grows up it grows back pushes this hopefully I don't have to move it worst case scenario I cut a hole in my greenhouse tarp uh, put a strap to this guy and pull it back if I have to do that that'd be awesome because then a pumpkin's huge so we are going for a 2,000 pounder this year so we want to make sure our setup at the beginning is ideal for that so there you go there's the setup dirt blanket hopefully not having to lift up a pumpkin inside the greenhouse this year tell me what you guys think is it good is it bad if you ever tried to do this if you have grown in the greenhouse um, Hopefully it works. See you guys. Okay, so I lied. I thought it was the final step, but it's not. I decided here that I didn't like that blue showing underneath the plant. Because I thought it'd get hot and I want to keep that baby as cool as possible. So I decided to go get some uh, of my styrofoam. As you, if you're a new grower, first time grower, you'll find out real fast that through the years of growing giant pumpkins, you're going to have a lot of crap laying around. So one of the things that are gold around here for me at least is styrofoam it's awesome so I got some of that put it under should keep it a lot cooler now so there we go there's our final setup right now probably add a little bit more styrofoam but that's about it now we'll just have to wait and see all right tell me what you guys think see ya